Hello and welcome to Otten Math. Today we're going to talk about one problem involved in four-sided polygons and uh, quadrilaterals. So let's talk, uh, we're going to talk at a high level and we're going to define uh, diagonals and uh, also vertices in different uh, polygons. So let's take a look at the problem. There's just one problem to go through. So the question is just 21, how many diagonals? And we're in the process of figuring out how diagonals and the number of sides and vertices relate to each other. So 21A says, how many diagonals does a triangle have? Well, we know the definition of a diagonal is a line that connects non-consecutive vertices. And I don't have any non-consecutive vertices, so I have three sides in a triangle, but I don't have any diagonals. How many diagonals does a quadrilateral have? Well, that's a four-sided figure. And I have uh, non-consecutive vertices in two locations, so I'm going to have two diagonals. And the second question has, uh, asks, how many diagonals does a pentagon have? Well, in this case, I have uh, two uh, uh, diagonals per vertex uh, because I have two non-consecutive sides that relate to that vertex. This is a consecutive side, let's say, to A, vertex A, and this is a consecutive vertex uh, to vertex A. So I just have two diagonals per vertex. So one, two here, one, two uh, at point B, one, two at point C, one, two at point D, and one, two at point E. Now you see that I only have five diagonals. So what, what ends up happening is that even though I have five diagonals per vertex or side, and even though I have, I'm sorry, I have two diagonals per vertex or side, even though I have five sides, I end up having half the number because I count this diagonal once going from E to B, and then this diagonal again going from B to E. So in order to accommodate the fact that I'm counting for this diagonal twice, I divide by two. So I can say that the number of diagonals is going to be, uh, in this case, five sides times two uh, diagonals or vertices, five sides or vertices times two diagonals per vertex divided by two gives me five. In this case, I have uh, four vertices times one diagonal per vertex divided by two. All right, so I'm going to move on. Uh, how many diagonals does a hexagon have? Well, a hexagon has nine diagonals. And again, we're confronted with uh, the same type of uh, system that we have in the prior two uh, polygons, where we have uh, six sides, and then we have three diagonals per side, and then we have to divide that by two and that is equal to 9. So we see a pattern here. First we had uh, we had 0, let's see, we had 3 sides. First we had 3 sides, and we had 0 diagonals per side. We'll divide this by 2 and we get 0. And then we had 4, side, four sides, or 4 vertices, 1 diagonal per vertex. Uh, we divide that by 2, again, because we want to account for any double counting, we divide by 2. That leaves us with 2. And we have five sides, or five vertices. We have three diagonals per side, and we divide by two, and we get five. And then we have six sides. We have four diagonals per side. And then, I'm sorry, we have two vertices in this. We have three here. <coughs> so we have five times two divided by two. Six times three, again, divided by two, gives us nine. So we can see a pattern here. For every side increase, we're increasing the number of diagonals that we have for the figure by one. So we start with zero, and then we add one for every incremental side. Now we're also multiplying the number of sides or vertices times that value and then dividing by two. So we've constructed, based on the process here, the sequence, a formula for figuring out the number of diagonals in a polygon. So we say, how many diagonals meet at one vertex of a polygon? Well, that indicates this value here. That's n. Okay. And the second question, as we figure out the number of diagonals per any n-sided polygon, is how many vertices does an n-sided polygon have? And we're going to say n minus 3. So we go back to our equation. We have n sides or vertices. n minus 3 gives us 0 diagonals. n minus 3 gives us one diagonal, n minus three gives us two diagonals per vertex, and then n minus three here gives us three diagonals per vertex. 
So we see then that we have first the number of sides times the number of diagonals per side of vertex. And then we divide by two to account for the duplication, the back and forth, as you recall, of each of the diagonals. So we have, again, BE is one diagonal and EB is a diagonal. But since it's only the same diagonal, we count it twice, we have to divide by two to account for the fact that it's only one diagonal. So we have N sides times N minus three diagonals over two gives us the number of diagonals that any N-sided polygon is going to have.